In this video trailer, we're going to explore why spread betting is the best place to start for a new trader. Stay tuned. Hey guys, very warm welcome to you. All right, so our channel sponsor, they offer a spread bet option. If you are in the UK and you do qualify for an account, you can spread bet through them. They also offer CFD as well uh, around the world, depending on what country you're in, jurisdiction and all that other good stuff. Check them out in the link in the description below. Now, there are plenty of ways to get exposure to the markets. You can go and you could trade futures contracts directly on the exchange. Just trade, trade crude oil on NYMEX. You could trade shares. You could trade stocks on the US exchange. You could trade uh, lots if you're trading currencies. You could trade spread bet. Uh, and you could trade CFDs. And there's, there's many ways, options, and many ways of getting exposure to the markets. Um, but I think that because of these reasons, and these are kind of the basic ones at the top and go through some of the kind of less thought about ones in, in a moment, um, the spread bet is a good way for new traders to get exposure to the markets and let me explain why first thing is of course leverage now you don't get leverage if you're buying traditional shares you get that if you're trading futures contracts but a uh, leverage basically i'm not going to kind of spend ages on this guys because you may know this already but leverage is basically allows you to control a sum of money with a percentage uh, of that amount in other words if you've got 10 percent leverage or 10 percent margin requirement you if you've got a thousand pounds in your account you can control up to ten thousand pounds worth of assets it doesn't mean you have to use it you can still just buy a thousand pounds worth of that asset but let's say you wanted to buy uh, 5,000 and spread the risk and kind of have a bit of a portfolio, you'd still have money left to be able to do other stuff. So it allows you more opportunity. Yes, it means you make more if your leverage right up when it goes your way, but it also means you lose uh, more if it goes against you. So use it uh, as it's meant to be. Like anything, guys, that's got power, it can be wielded uh, in a bad way. Long or short, you can basically bet the market going up or the market going lower. Handy if you have a bearish thesis on something. Handy as well for your hedging. No stamp duty. Big thing here, if you're buying UK shares, you have to pay stamp duty. Uh, no stamp duty to pay when you're spread betting. Nice bonus. Uh, a large selection of markets. So this is a, one of the good things, guys. This is where we get into the good things now. You're not restricted if you've got a share account to just shares. You can trade crude oil. You can trade gold. You can trade uh, a currency pair, you can trade an index, a basket a basket of stocks and index, like a DAX or German 30, uh, as it is. Do whatever you want, and this is the beauty of it. And the kind of major things here, which you may not have thought about, is you have one account for all markets. So you don't need a futures account. You don't need an options account. You don't need this. Yes, you can't trade options via a spread bet, but you can still get exposure to the direction of an asset. You don't need a futures account. You don't need a stock account. You can get you can trade gold, you can trade crude, you can trade USD JPY, you can trade Tesla, all under one account. So it means you've got one login, one central area to do your business. And that's crucial. And the thing is as well, which I didn't add to this, is it's in the same currency as your account. This is the big thing, guys. It's a real pain in the, you know what? If you're in the UK, you want to trade US shares, you've got a US share account, um, you go, you kind of got put dollars in, you make your money in dollars, you've got to come back, you've got the exchange. It's a mess. No, 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 do that with spread bank. If you want to trade Apple, you want to trade Tesla, you just trade it in sterling, it gets converted because you're betting on the direction in sterling, in GBP, that's the way it's going to be. And obviously, if you've got a CFD account, it'll be in the currency uh, of your choice, and they offer different currencies depending uh, on where you're located to do that. Is. But it's just one account, and that's the, that's the beauty of it. You're trading a, a USD denominated product, a euro denominated product, yen, whatever, it's in one account. No capital gains tax. Very, very, for most people out there who are spread betting, uh, there's no capital gains tax to pay. Of course, you're going to check with your accountant and all that other stuff when it comes to tax. Third thing is, this is what I like about it, and why I think it's great for new traders. It's simple to understand pricing, right? When you're trading Forex lots, mini lots, micro lots, it's hard to understand as a new trader, what the heck does this mean? I've got to do my lot size calculator, I've got to do this, do the other. It just complicates stuff unnecessarily. If you're in the UK and the spreads are suitable for you, and by all means, check them out, guys, you're gonna see what the spreads are. But it, uh, easy to understand, it's like one pound per point or per pip. So if the market, if I'm doing one pound per point or per pip, the market goes up 10 pips and I'm long, I make 10 pips times my stake, 10 pounds. It's very simple to work out. If I'm short from this and that, you know, you can scale up and down. That is the simplicity of understanding and the simplicity of the pricing to me is where 
uh, spread betting has the edge over almost anything. You know, think of a futures contract, one contract, what's one contract worth? Well, it's different in crude oil as it is to DAX. Crude oil, uh, you know, completely different size contract, tick size different, there's so many things to think about. Um, you know, whereas if you're trading per point, pound per point, you just know that, hey, if it goes up this amount, so I'm gonna make, this is how much my risk is, so much easier. And the final thing is it's easy to calculate profit and loss. So you can work out your risk, you're like, okay, I'm gonna put my stock 200 pips away, I'm doing two pounds a point, it's 400 pounds risk, I'm happy to do that. Yes, the risk is in the unit you can understand, rather than being in something else, you've got to then convert it, understand how that changes the valuation of this as it moves, all that nonsense, like okay, that's my risk, that's simple. Where am I looking for? Oh, I'm looking for 800 pips move. How much is that gonna be? Whatever your position size is. Very simple to understand. That's why I like spread betting, guys. That's why I think it's a good place to start for a new trader, spread betting as opposed to any of the others. Now. You may disagree with me, and I appreciate as well, this is for UK people only. If you're elsewhere, CFD account's probably the most similar and the most, uh, the best place for you, depending on what you're trying to trade. It does depend on the vehicle you're trading as well, guys. If you're trading some really obscure small cap stock, it's not going to be available on spread bet, but not many people do. People want to trade the stuff that's liquid. They want to trade stuff that's got the tight spread, the stuff that's moving, the stuff that's volatile, the stuff that you can do the research on, put your trades on, right or wrong, you make your money or not. Anyway, guys, do check out the links in the description uh, below, and I'll see you next one. Take care. Bye-bye.